What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be explaining to you how to game share on the PlayStation 4. This is something that me and my boy Jack wanted to do for a long time. I wanted to share with him some of the games I bought on my PS4. That way he'd be able to play them as well. So we have basically been looking on YouTube to try to find out how to game share on the PlayStation 4 and we tried quite a few different methods. Honestly, some of the methods that we found on YouTube, we couldn't get past the first step. And I think there was only one or maybe two that we attempted that worked, but they were only for a short period of time. And after a couple days, it just all of a sudden stopped working. And the games that he downloaded from me had the lock symbol on them. After about two, maybe three weeks of trying to find something that works so we were able to game share, I decided to contact Sony themselves, which is something a lot of people don't try to do, but I wanted to see what they had to say on it. The first thing that Sony told me was they do not recommend game sharing because whenever you purchase games digitally on the PS4 or even PS3, I think, but whenever you purchase games digitally, that you're not purchasing the game, you're just purchasing the rights to play the game. And those rights are only supposed to be for one account on one PS4. Then they proceeded to tell me that there is a way to game share and they share that information with me. The first thing that I want to mention is only game share with somebody that you can trust because you are going to have to give them your login information. I would recommend either family members or a best friend. I consider Jack a brother, so that's why I'm game sharing with him. But in this video, I'm not going to be showing you how to game share because number one, it is so easy. And number two, I already have it complete and I don't have Jack's PS4 here to basically show you. But let's get right into this. So the first thing that you are going to want to do is on the account that is going to be sharing the games, you're going to want to deactivate it as the primary. By doing this, you are going to lose some features, but the two that only affect me are, number one, you no longer have the ability to auto save onto the cloud, but you can still go and manually save everything. It is a little bit more of a hassle because your PlayStation doesn't automatically save to the cloud, but it's something that I can deal with. And the other thing is you have to be connected to online PSN to be able to play downloaded games. So that means if your internet is out or the PSN itself is down, you cannot go and play those digital games. But for me, that doesn't matter so much because I do have a couple disc games and my internet's usually always there. But if those don't matter to you, then you can continue on with the rest of this video. The next thing you're gonna to want to do is give the person that you're going to be game sharing your login email and password. After you give them your login information, they're gonna to want to go on their PS4 and log out of their account. They're gonna to want to sign into your account on their PS4, and then they're gonna to want to set your account on their PS4 as the primary. Now, after they activate your account on their PS4 as the primary, while they're still on your account on their PS4, they can go into your library and start downloading the games that you purchased from the PlayStation Store. Once they've selected all of the games that they wanted and they have already started to download, they can log out of your account and they can log back into their account. Once the games are finished downloading, they should be able to go and play those games on their PS4 on their account. Now, other methods that I've tried whenever it comes to game sharing for the PS4 only work for a little while and then the games that you download from your friend will show up a locked symbol and it will not let you play those games. It will actually tell you to go and purchase them from the store. Even though you downloaded them, you're not able to play them. By doing this method, which I just shared with you, it works every time and that is because they have your account on their PS4 set as the primary and it lets them play the games. Now the only downfall to this is your PS4 will no longer be able to be primary, which in a way does suck. I wish that they had it so two PS4s can be set as primary, but all of the primary functions don't apply to me because the only one that I really wish I'd be able to use would be the auto upload to the cloud. But at the end of the day, I can still manually upload and my PS4 is almost pretty new. I just had it less than six months ago, so I'm not gonna have any issues with that. But if you are concerned of what you are going to lose if your PS4 is not set as the primary, you can always look it up on the PlayStation website and they will tell you everything that you will lose by deactivating your account as the primary. 
Like I said, there is other methods on YouTube on how to game share and a lot of people don't like to deactivate their account as the primary and to let somebody else have their account as the primary on their PS4. But to me, that is why I said only give it to somebody that you can trust and only game share with somebody you can trust because my boy Jack, right now my account is set as the primary on his PS4 and that is why he's able to play my games that I purchased from the store. But at the end of the day, you could still try some of the other methods for game sharing. They may work for you, but for us, they did not work. So I wanted to share this with you because this actually came from Sony. Sony is the one that actually shared how to game share. It has worked for us for over a month, maybe almost two months now. So it does work. So I hope this has helped you learn how to game share on the PS4 because this came straight from Sony. Like I said, some of the other theories and methods may work for you, but you just have to try and see what works for you. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.